as Arizona confronts another wave of positive COVID-19 tests across the state. A prominent university has a stark recommendation for state leaders. Cronkite News reporter Sean Rice is joining us now with the details. Sean? The COVID-19 modeling team at the University of Arizona has recommended a shelter-in-place ordinance to be issued on December 1st. It's to avoid a, quote, catastrophe on a scale of the worst natural disaster the state has ever experienced. In a letter to the Arizona Department of Health Services, the team cites their reasoning as an expectation of exceeding ICU and general ward capacity by early December and total hospital capacity by late December. The university presented a graph in the letter showing the point of reaching capacity in hospitals if transmission continues at rates recorded during the most recent wave of COVID-19 cases. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey commented on the partisan views of the virus in, a state, in the state last week. Some straight talk. There are two extreme and distinct camps out there. One side wants to lock everything down. The other side thinks it's all a hoax. Both are loud and vocal. Most of the public isn't part of either camp. And by the way, neither am I. The governor last issued a shelter-in-place order from March 31st through April 31st. A shelter-in-place order would close all non-essential businesses and order people to stay home and avoid public travel. Dr. Kara Chris stopped short of recommending such an order last week and instead advocated for mask wearing. What we're seeing in the recent increase is the urgent need for people to have their own mask requirements at home and every time they are around people who aren't members of their household. To put it simply, people are letting down their guard. The letter also recommends the issuing of a statewide mask mandate. And that's something that Governor Doug Ducey has said is not necessary. Instead, he's left that power to the leader of each individual city. In downtown Phoenix, Sean Rice, Cronkite News.